Hi everybody and welcome to this video. In this quick tip I'll show you how you can easily export the tracklist of your Studio One song as a text file. Maybe you want to send the list of your tracks to a collaboration partner or you just like to keep a backup of the tracks you have used in your project. And the easiest way to get this done is with the Studio One Toolbox website. If you don't know it yet, it's a free website that provides you with many additional tools and functions for Studio One songs. And one of the benefits about it being a website is that you don't even need to open Studio One to use it with one of your song files. To open the website, enter studioonetoolbox.com into your browser. And now just take one of your Studio One song files and drag it onto the website. Or in case you have already loaded your song in Studio One and you're not sure how to find it in your Explorer or Finder, then you can just go into the song menu and choose Show Media Folder in Explorer or Finder on Mac. There's also another command called Show in Explorer or Finder, but this one here is slightly easier to access. And now we are in the media folder and we just need to go back into the parent folder and here is the song file. And now you can just drag this file onto the Studio One Toolbox website. And just to make that clear, your song file is not being uploaded or sent to anywhere. The website just opens your song file locally on your computer and of course it can only open the file but not save or override it. So I can say this is really safe to use. Now that Studio One Toolbox has read your song file, there are several different things you can do. First of all, you get a nice overview of your song with all the tracks and folders, all the instruments you used, you see the tempo of your song, and what might be interesting for some of you as well, it shows you the Studio One version that you used to create that song file. And here above we have three different functions that you can directly use with that song. You can export all the instrument presets of that song, you can export track and song notes, and that's what we want to do now, we can export the track list. So let's click on that and we get that pop-up window that shows you all tracks in your song. And that's already exactly what we want, but we additionally have some options to customize the way these tracks are displayed here. First we can select if we want our folder tracks to show up in that list as well. By default they are included, but you can easily turn that off. And then you can indent the tracks that are inside your folder tracks. If you prefer to have a flat list, you can turn that off here as well. And then you can choose if you want to have track numbers in that list. Again, just turn it on or off, just as you like. And now the final step is to export the actual list. We can export it as a text file, or if you just want to copy it into a text document and send it to someone on WhatsApp or Facebook, then we can just copy the whole track list. And let's just send it to Gregor. He didn't ask for that, but I'm sure he'll be happy to get that track list from my last jazz concert. So that's it for today. Let me know in the comments if you liked that video and of course press the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you don't want to miss more videos. Now thanks for watching and see you in the next video.